A warning for parents about the danger of a seemingly, seemingly innocent back-to-school social media trend. And New Center 7's Taylor Robertson talked with police about how those first day of school signs can put kids at risk. Police say when you share your kid's full name, how old they are and where they go to school, you're giving people enough information for them to steal their identity. Basically, we want to get that information out there um, and tell parents, although it may look innocent, scammers and predators are going to be looking for these posts and they're going to be looking as, for as much information as possible and, and they're going to be trying to take that information or use it for themselves. As part of their Think Before You Post campaign, Huber Heights police want to remind parents that predators online look for these types of posts. They're going to be looking as, for as much information as possible and, and they're going to be trying to take that information or use it for themselves. Any predator can take a, a picture off the internet and use it however they want. Officer Lambert said although it seems innocent, parents should be weary sharing what school their kid goes to. Like if you put out there, look, my kid plays football, then you can, you put out there where they're going to be when they're getting off of school and you can have somebody come up and say, hey, I'm here to pick you up. Uh, your coach from football told me to pick you up. You're just putting out information for somebody to take your child, basically. A quick Google search will let the predator know when your child goes to and from school. So that's why we recommend using privacy settings. Don't post anything public whatsoever. But they can take a picture of your child and they can trade that picture to other people. They can hold on to it. They can print it out and make it take it up to that child and say, hey, look, I have a picture of you. Officer Lambert said parents can still make these posts, but maybe leave out the personal information and add things like their favorite school lunch or their favorite color. Reporting in Huber Heights, Taylor Robertson, News Center 7. You know, folks